and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Lux, our next donation deck. Going to be trying out um, a Fiora deck kind of combined with a Lux Remembrance deck. This is going to be pretty interesting. So for our six mana spells, we have Back to Back and Remembrance that can uh, enable our Mage Seeker Persuader. Give that challenger. Um, besides that, we have Fiora and Protege as our main turn three challengers. Laurent Blade Keeper can give those plus two, plus two. This can also work with, um, if we go turn three Remembrance, then we can play Laurent Blade Keeper for the plus two, plus two. Um, you know, and then we have the Lux. We have a lot of spells in here, 22 spells with the 18 units. Um, we got Removal with Concerted Strike and Single Combat. We have Protection in the form of three Deny. We got uh, Twin Disciplines, Repost, um, and then, you know, the back-to-back -back in there as well. And also three Chain Vests, granting our allies tough. A lot of little one damage things running around, so that could be pretty interesting. I'm skeptical on Blade Keeper, if that's going to be better than playing um, other cards. Like, we're, we only have six Ionia cards, so I don't know if we'd be a Bannerman deck. We're not really going that wide for Bannerman, but still, um, you know, we could have cards like Jewel Protector, Swiftwing Lancer, um, Genevieve Elmhart especially Elmhart. I'm, I'm skeptical the Blade Keeper is going to be better than any of those kind of cards, or even, even Laurent Chevalier. I've been very happy with this card recently. Sorry, in other decks. But we're going to try this out. I mean, I think Blade Keeper makes our Fiora a lot better, and that's kind of where we're going here with all these spells, all this protection, and all these um, fight spells, removal spells, concerted strike, single combat, stuff like that. Our Fioras should be pretty good. It looks like we're going to be a main, uh, like Fiora is going to be our main way to win games with the backup of Lux. All right, so let's let's give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. Here we go. We're going to we're going to switch our icon too. This icon's not really not really doing it for me. We're, we need to turn our luck around. And I think I think it's the icon. But yeah, Cabo, Big Alfredo, Aquilabot. Thanks y'all for joining today on this Saturday afternoon. Glad everybody's had a good day. I have as well. And we got this one, and then we got Ephemeral Katarina up next, which Ephemeral Katarina should be a lot of fun. That's definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Katarina and Callista together. We're going to get rid of the Persuader. I'm going to keep this Fiora and stuff. I don't know exactly what they got Ionia for. I hope not Will of Ionia. I hope, you know, like we see Callista here. Like maybe this is like a, you know, Cursed Keeper kind of sacrifice deck um but it, there's a good chance it's ephemerals and stuff with the ionia um you know like ionia for like death mark that would also be a card i do not want to see that would grant fiora ephemeral so basically i don't want to see the ionia cards And probably, yeah, not going to play Protector on turn two. We're going to wait and use Protector to protect Fiora. It's it's unfortunate we don't get to attack on turn three. Yeah, Mystery. These, okay, this is a Rekindler Copying Machine deck. No, I, ha I have not done the, the bonus time yet. not done the I owe y'all a bonus stream time from Thursday night still I haven't forgot about that but yeah no I haven't yet hmm
Okay. Kordak, you didn't... Okay, so yeah, you got a, a Zed Lucian Aggro, you just did a donation deck. Um... Didn't give me the list, though. Do I deny Glimpse Beyond? Probably not. I saved Deny for Will of Ionia. You know, basically those Ionia spells that I talked about earlier. Captive! We got a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. No, unfortunately, the highlight, the message doesn't stay in the logs. So I'll, I'll have to copy paste save this. Isn't too much of a problem. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Anyway, thank you, Captive. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate that. So we're supposed to keep them from gaining three life. No, I'll use the Discipline of Fortitude. That will pump up Fiora's health by one. Because of the tough. Grasp does two. I guess it keeps them from gaining two life, right? Because Grasp will deal two, so then therefore gain two. I don't think I pass priority and, um, you know, them just not play anything, then I don't do any damage. I think I just get the damage in. I mean, Fiora's at zero. It's not like I need to really prioritize Fiora right now. We're just going to use Deny to protect against you know, whatever spells we need to with Deny. If they got Ruination or anything like that. And then otherwise, our Repose. That's a lot of repost. That is the most repost. Put vengeance to rest. Trindamir be meta now without War Mothers. I don't really see how slash why. What what else? Where would you where where are you playing Trindamir? Like, are you building around Trindamir? Or like, why? Why do you think Trindamir would be meta now? 
What kind of yeah, like what kind of change would was made that? I think now Trindamir would be meta. I don't want to play back to back this turn because um, I need to protect from ruination. But if they if they tap under mana so they don't get to ruination, then I can back to back. So, you know, basically again deny is a card for me to be. Looking into Oh, because of the Will of Ionia nerf? This will be quick. No, it's... I, I don't think the Will of Ionia nerf slowed the format down, though. That much. It still seems... You know, like, the discard aggro is super fast, and... Trindamir is not great against the Frostbite, either. Yeah, Sejuani just kind of the better turn to mirror. <laughs> it's true. I guess I use these spells because otherwise. Otherwise, I just have a whole bunch of these. And one Fiora. Down on cards. Just gotta hope that Fiora. Ouch. I hope Fiora's real good. I would love to draw a Lux, right? Like we got these spells, like this mana. Lux would be amazing. I mean, it'd be a best card to draw. A lot of repose. Every, every repose in our deck. Ooh. 
Lux, where are you? We need some card draw. Deep meditation or something. So it seemed like like we're we're pretty slow. And we don't we don't have the card advantage of like, you know, like Laurent Chevalier and Swiftwing Lancer and like all those kind of things that can generate card advantage. We just kinda got one for one to death. You know, they had, like, the Glimpse Beyond that drew him a couple of cards. They had the Rasa that forced a deny as well. Um, and then they also had the Mist Wraith, those two bodies that just traded with two of my cards. Not the Mist Wraith, the Wraith Caller. We do have we have Lux that can generate free cards. That's kind of what we're looking for in this deck. This is the kind of deck that I would have loved to play against with the Swain Flank. I know we only went one four with Swain Plank, but we played some some bad matchups for the deck. That deck would have been awesome here. I was playing because. This is a, getting to be a popular deck. We just, you know, we didn't get to face it. But, you know, I had three Death Lotus. The party has a Who does not know Went a lot better than, than this matchup. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, uh... Anything else? <laughs> I'm not sure about our deck here. Feels like we just have too many spells and not enough of the great card advantage units. Run them through. Alright, so I'm going for Radiant Guardian. That's my best chance of winning, so you know we're gonna hopefully hit Radiant Guardian. You got like what like a one in four chance, I think. So if we hit Radiant Guardian, we probably win with these. Come on, Radiant Guardian. Oh, Puts me down to three. No, there's no, there's no radiant guardian deck. I, this is a, this was a donation deck that I, I didn't make this deck. But no, there's no, there's no radiant guardians in our deck. Just the remembrance that we try to hit radiant guardian with. Um, besides that, 
we could probably use like a judgment like that's a good card with lux also because these these go wide decks are kind of popular so maybe like a judgment um it's possible it's also mulligan everything and just look for fiora because fiora is probably our only way to win this matchup realistically it's probably the only want the only way Basically, you know, using that as removal, trying to clear up some spaces. Is Doing our best to clear up some spaces. I you. Well, we have Concerted Strike to take that down. If I fall, so fear. Can't we're gonna take three damage. This is probably I mean I, I probably should have just waited on this. The the person that donated for the deck isn't in here. I probably should have waited because I don't know, I I don't you know like what when the person's not in here, I don't want to change things about the deck, right? Like, I just I just don't want to without approval. But, of course, the, I would, I mean, I would just probably change it to be a lot more just regular Demacia. I, I feel like we just need, you know, like, we, we've been playing a, some Demacia decks that are really good recently. Okay, so what do we want? What do we actually want? Remembrance wouldn't be bad on turn three. Um, wouldn't mind like a. Th okay, there we go. We have remembrance. Like maybe like a three drop with like chain vest. This, this is probably a good chain vest matchup. I do think that Lux is a big part of our deck, and our decks looked worse because we haven't had Lux. Love that we got the tough one. That's great. Love the, the tough 5-5. Five five. Darn. Okay, cool. We got Lux. I like that. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So basically, I think okay. So I think our deck is caught like in a in a middle spot where it shouldn't be, where it needs to be one of two ways. It e either needs to be more focused on Fiora and the Demacia I challengers, you know. That can get the card advantage, your Chevalier, your Genevieve Elmhart, which is a you know an amazing card, your uh, Swiftwing Lancer, absolutely Fleet Feather Tracker, you know get a one drop. It either needs to go that route, or we we can go Lux and a bunch of spells, but that route, you know like you know we can play Fiora Lux and a whole bunch of spells, and if we want to go that route, then we have to know that we're going to be a much much worse against aggro. And we got to have a lot more against Agro. Like that route should be playing Radiant Guardians. Probably should have Judgment. Um, you know, like against the the Go Wide decks because we just can't uh, can't keep up with those. As basically as you just saw that last game, the discard Agro is real, and you gotta gotta respect it. And so I think our our deck was. Uh, our deck's just kind of caught in no man's land. You're covered. In between 
either the kind of anti-aggro control like you gotta have a lot more anti-aggro stuff like with the with a control variant like a fiora control deck um or or just a good curve out lots of challengers demacia that could still play you know you can still play lux in that kind of deck And still have remembrance and you yeah, have remembrance back to back. I mean, maybe. The sun is shining. We should too. Back to back is awesome. That spell is very good. I could see our deck playing like some more barrier stuff though also like like you could have like we could have the lifesteal barrier in this deck but we don't we could have um you know like that that's another card that you could have is just the lifesteal barrier stand united would probably be awesome as well like we're not we're not bannerman we could have some more ionia stuff Lifesteal barrier. Like, maybe you just play that. Like, if you don't want to have Radiant Guardian, maybe we just have some lifesteal barriers. Um, so basically, I didn't do that attack to make them waste all their mana. And, yeah, like, they were... Uh, like, I would have done an attack, like, with the 2-4 challenging the 3-2. Then they would be able to pretty easily kill my 2-4. I didn't have much protection for it after that. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted them to, to waste their mana and then untap and then have, like, basically I wanted to go to be able to have my mana available to spend with this Lux. So I missed out on four damage, but then also missed out on a lot of Do they have Huh? I'm worried about Noxion Guillotine. Okay, Ravenous Flock. Because I know if, if you play Twin Disciplines, it says 4-6, but then it still says that it's hurt, you know, that it's damage with 4-6. If I would if I would play the Twin Disciplines first, like basically, if you Twin Disciplines and then you go to the next round, it, it wouldn't say 4-5 and then still damage, right? Like it'd be fully healed 4-5, right? I think that's how that would work. Run them through. Okay, yeah, so it would be fully healed four five. So we'll do four to the Leviathan and also be the last two mana I need for Better, combat. Or, sorry, sorry, for the final spark. Why did that was weird that it showed Lux getting a barrier for a little bit. Oh, 
I'm basically just worried about Noxian Guillotine. I wouldn't mind drawing a deny. I mean, I guess... I guess Ezreal now could be a problem. I don't have the remo Never mind. Now we have removal for Ezreal. Hey Conti, welcome back. GG Deej. What's up, y'all? Okay. That does two damage. Not gonna kill Lux yet, which is Two damage. I spent zero mana after that last final spark. So I'll do three damage back again. Been doing a lot of damage. A lot of targeting. A lot of targeted spells. A duelist is poised, composed, precise, bright, and sharply focused. Second one's gonna be stunning. Lux. We're in this together. We still have four cards. I get value out of this final spark. Oh, never mind. All oh, right, that only makes that thing a six three anyway, not a seven three. Cool. We still get value out of the final spark. I don't know why I didn't attack with the blade keeper. Obviously, I should have. That's just that's me missing two two damage. I should have attacked with that also. Yeah, hey, no, that's okay, Conti. Yeah, I understand being real busy. Thanks for thanks for just stopping by, saying hi. I appreciate that. I hope you have a wonderful they day. Don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. The finest blades for my lady. I need only one to win. Watch and learn. Still got three cards. Okay. I'll take that, they could 
I'm glad to trade it for the thermogenic beam instead of just blocking them, you know, blocking with the 3 2. Oh, not, I, you know, they should be at 7. I should have got that extra 2 damage in. Save me, Luke! Ooh, I love that. Prepare the cargo. I don't love that. Battle stations. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to pump up the two things they don't block. And that should be game. I can't imagine that this is not game. We're able to fight through a whole bunch of damage, so... That's the kind of matchup with having, with our deck, with having all of, like, the protection spells, you know, great against that kind of deck. So I think that's, uh, that's a good matchup with all of our protection spells. That one worked out just fine. Um, yeah, that one, that one worked out pretty well. So we're going to be having Rank Up Sunday tomorrow. Um, I'm planning on playing Frostbite Midrange, Zed Shen. Those are, those are definitely two decks we're playing tomorrow. Probably the Bannerman. I'll play some Bannerman Braum. Try out Bannerman Braum again. Ooh, I like that. Um, no, probably not Lucian Fury. Bannerman Brahm's kind of the new Lucian Fury. Oh no! Were they saying, wait, were they saying GG? Okay, no one. Those are cool sleeves. I haven't seen those sleeves yet. I pull the string. Alright, gonna want to trade with Elise. We'll just take that trade. They would fall by my blade. Stay away from my pets. And yeah, not sure what we're, what we're going to finish up the stream with. I never hold. Oh God! Honor guide me. Um, I think it's likely they're going to be playing Glimpse Beyond. I think that's kind of likely. I'm still going to chain vest. Uh, I don't think they'll have Callista Blackspear, but well, it's Blackspear. That, that's a possibility. I'm glad we didn't have to worry about Fury of the North. Five four, yuck. But that's what we got reposed for. Counter and strike. Sharp blade, sharp mind. No. All right. Well, they trade. Put vengeance to rest. All right, so we each have four cards left in hand. Oh, maybe the discard aggro. I think I'm playing that again. That probably will do. So discard aggro, frostbite midrange, 
Bannerman Braum and Zed Shen. That sounds like a good rank up day. Don't have anything to play this turn. Yeah, just not gonna play any of these. Does not make any sense. Does not make any sense to attack, have them block with sentry, and then I use one of these spells. That does, does not make too much sense to do that. Everyone's a garden. To 11. Grow up so fast. You can see how we can really struggle against decks that go wide. I think we kind of need at least judgment or something. Hoping for Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian. It just didn't make as much sense to do this pre-combat when they would already have the 2-1 that was going to be able to challenge this. It didn't really make a lot of sense to, like, where if we would hit Radiant Guardian. Our Radi you know, like, our Radiant Guardian wouldn't be any good if we if we would get lucky enough to hit Radiant Guardian. Uh, 1, and then 2, it would be taking... Like, it, it would be taking 2 to start with. I could see Endure becoming popular again. It, it has a lot of good stuff. It didn't it hasn't really been nerfed. I mean, in, they who endure costs one more. That's about it, right? Like the Curse Keeper. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, what's up, Legendary Teemo? I don't think we really have any... Okay, there we go. There's a plan against Atrocity. We don't really have any plan against They Who Endure. I don't, think, I don't know if there's much plan to be had. We'd have to have, like, Purify, right? Like, we, we don't have Purify. And, and that's right, rightfully so. I'm not saying that we should have Purify. Okay, maybe consider a strike with like the help of back to back. Maybe you know, maybe that would help against um, they who endure. But I don't really, you know, like how are we getting 20, 20 damage across? Just doesn't seem very likely, does it?
without either of our champions. We need our champions. Either Fiora get us that kill. Like, Fiora's awesome in this matchup. Like, this is definitely the matchup for Fiora. Because they just have so many, you know, like, look at all these 1-1s one that have just been dying. If, you know, if we had Fiora, this, like, we'd be able to protect Fiora with Deny. They also just don't have that much removal. This is an amazing Fiora matchup. Unfortunately, we just didn't have Fiora. Yeah, that, yeah, Fiora was our main win con. It's the card that, like, when you're, when you're playing this deck, Fiora is, like, your worst nightmare, basically. We did, didn't find you, though. Oh, right, no, we did have her. Yeah, with the Callista, that's true. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, with the... Yeah, because... I mean, Vile Feast... Vile Feast was it, right? Yeah, like, that was the only card, but yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have. That was... You're right, that probably should have just taken the damage. I mean, especially for how this game's played out. I wish it would have just taken the damage. Okay, so I either block like this, hold up deny, you know, take a bunch of damage, hold up deny for atrocity. That's just not going to be a game-winning plan. Or we do this. This this is what can win a game. Holding up mana to for deny for atrocity is not going to win a game. I need the single combat after the concerted strike. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could have thrown the blocker in front. Uh, that still would have been lethal. If they're doing an extra seven. Single combat doesn't help. If we could put it, if we could put single combat on the other side of the concerted strike, it could help, but not on this side. So yeah, maybe that was what I was supposed to do, was just save Fiora, you know, not even risk it. We're taking out that 5-4 Callista. Um, yeah, because they really don't play much removal, like, they just have basically Vile Feast, and so uh, as long as... Yeah, like, that was that was probably just my, my fault for, for playing that. Like that. Is SG supposed to be single combat? Is that Don't when you type SG, I've does that mean single combat? This. Just as I hypothesized. I don't think going down to two and then doing stuff after being at two, I, I don't think that's a good plan whatsoever, because then then just everything like atrocity with anything kills us. That's not that's not a, a strategy that I think would be one that that yeah, it wasn't that's not one I was really interested in. You know, like, I, we had to go for it there. You're Playing a blocker for the pickpocket. Just kind of which blocker am I playing? 
you know, which one would I rather have later on? Would I rather have a 4-3 challenger or the ability to get Fiora barrier? Yeah, but they they also I mean they play like three atrocities, right? Or maybe two atro you know, two or three atrocities, like it's So I mean, how how are you expecting that to happen? Like what so you think that I just Break their spirits and their swords. So I just I just block So yeah, I don't I don't understand. So what what's your line? I play the the six mana card. I block, and then after combat, then then I try to single combat. So I try to so my if I go with that line, my best case scenario, and then I'd still have to deny you save. So my best case scenario is I lose my whole board, and I go to two. Doesn't at that point it doesn't matter that I still have deny. Close my eyes, make it fair. This is my opponent. I'll stop you. Yeah, we block survive at two and then and then so one of my things is dead. And then I single combat away the other thing. So So both my things are dead, so I have nothing. And I'm at two. And that's best case scenario if they don't have anything. You know, then they could they could still just fury the north and I'd be dead anyway. Yeah, well, that line could have allowed me to stay alive that turn. It's just not a, a line that I think I'll ever, that I would ever do. Anything else? <laughs> you look guilty. Sharp blade, sharp knife. It's one point of damage. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Just borrow it! <laughs> Radiant Guardian. Take a scout. A five five scout. We'll take that. Not bad. Not 
bad. If you are killing the one drop and then also getting a get excited and a pick a card, that's pretty good value. Like that's a lot of stuff. They just trade with. That. So not bad at all. You must have some tough decisions over there. Must have some really tough decisions. Okay, thank you. Let the light guide you. <laughs> a beacon in battle. We know one of those cards is a six mana plus spell. <laughs> oh, so that got shuffled back in. Now I've lost my but yeah, if they wanted. Yeah, I would absolutely trade Jinx for the five four if they want to do that trade. So they're going to have five cards at the beginning of next turn. Three from pick a card. Two from Jinx. Uh, lots of ammo. So I have to... Give one of my things a barrier, then single combat after with the barrier, and also have twin disciplines as protection. Or we could just double twin disciplines, create a final spark immediately at burst speed, and then cast final spark and kill Jinx. We'll see, three of those cards are fleeting in their hand. So in five minutes, they'll play their first thing. They're not going to get us. Yeah, they're not going to get a rocket this turn. I would be shocked if they Never did. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Soak it in. The reason why I really like playing the Bright Steel Protector is that this is a card that I can block a 7 2. You know, like that's. You know, I don't want to. Not necessarily with those, but you know, like the Bright Seal Protector does a good job blocking the astute academic. Still have two more fleeting cards. They'd pass priority. If I would have passed back, they would have got rid of those two fleeting cards, but we'd go to another turn where Jinx draws an additional card. We've had some really slow opponents today. This match has been the worst. been pretty difficult. Twin Disciplines isn't going to be saving the 5-1 because the, the Mystic Shot just kills the barrier and then they would fight and so it'd be taking the 5 damage from the Jinx. Here I want to save so that, because if I don't save, then, you know, we're looking at taking seven from this thing, not blocking with Lux. 
So that's five mana now for Lux. Let's test my theorem. Wonder how many fleeting cards they still have in hand. Like, were those the two fleeting cards? Were they just both Mystic Shots? Or do they have other cards that were the fleeting ones? Okay, what one was that? My shield is yours. Demacians protect each other. Anything helps. <laughs> Twisted Fates, pick a card. So we know they have no cards in hand. We can safely fight here. Which levels up Lux. I've been hiding my life too long. Which means we get a final spark. Kill that thing. No more holding back. So obviously what's in play right now looks great for us, but of course they get to draw four cards this turn. I'm drawing one card. So that can change. Yeah, so one of the mystics was fleeting, one was not fleeting whenever they passed. Deal me. Priority. I'm going to pass priority and not just play protege because they do have the more the fleeting cards. I right, don't have the fleetings anymore. We'll play protege. I could see that. Play pick a card as a one of in the Demacia Bilgewater decks for a refill. I could see that. I hate that. Is that better than Salvage for one more mana where you get to keep the cards all the time? Maybe not. Like, maybe it's better to, to pay one less mana and draw one more card, but you only get one turn to play them. You just hope that's not where you get, like, your Genevieve Elm Hearts and that kind of stuff. I'm out. Yeah, you do have the ability to pick a card Rally when you don't, you know, Relentless Pursuit when you don't need Relentless Pursuit, or maybe you draw into more Relentless Pursuits. Are we going to get burn spell to death? Not playing the protege immediately did cost me four life.
So that's a lethal attack. Gross. Gross. Well, that's the last one of those. I think... I know that's the third one of those, and they've played at least those two jury rigs. They may have had the third jury rig also. Um, don't quite remember. Um. Everywhere I go, the light follows. That was from. They created the one drop from Petty Officer. There was the uh, the Mage Seeker that the Mage Seeker died, and then uh, created the Ruination. Pretty flavorful. You know, the Mage Seeker not liking Lux, and yeah, they shuffled it back into their deck a while ago with Pick a Card, and I guess it showed up again. Always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. A little more word about Jinx as far as Concerted Strike. I want to have that available for Jinx. Yeah, I don't know what the percent chance of that is of Petty Officer giving you a Ruination. <laughs> like, what's the percent chance that a Petty Officer gives you a Ruination? I don't know. But it happened. Do you think that's a do you think that's why they have Petty Officer in their deck? They're thinking, well, sometimes I'm gonna need a Ruination, so let's put this Petty Officer in here. When we need it, we can get that ruination. Got me good. We play in bilge rules, son. Now, I'm just worried about them, like, going wide and basically doing any damage to me. You know, having, like, two attackers and doing any sorts of damage to me. did draw something that would have gotten me another final spark, but... get lulled to sleep 98 out of 100 all right so yeah this this deck uh not very impressed with it it just as we talked about before it's just um it's just kind of in the middle of where it you know shouldn't be in the middle it's um i think this would be just a lot better 
like basically just all the Demacia cards that we're just not playing. Your Fleet Feather Tracker, your War Chefs, um, your um, even you know if you want to have Bannerman, yes or no, uh, you know you could have like Blinding Assault in there, but the um, uh, even Grizzled Ranger would be good. It's just something that gives you multiple bodies. Chevalier can give you multiple bodies. Um, Swiftwing Lancer give you multiple bodies. Elmheart take out multiple bodies. You know, like there's we just constantly didn't have very many cards in hand, especially like units, and we just have too many spells and couldn't deal with things decks that go wide. Um, I know that's a different type of deck than a Lux deck. So if you do play Fiora Lux and you want to play that kind of deck, I think that you probably need to be playing either you know we got to have some life gain, got to have like Radiant Guardian or Spirits Refuge, be able to um, you know heal your Nexus with that kind of stuff um and again you know if you're going to go radiant guardian you probably want to be playing the uh blinding assaults in there to help out your radiant guardian and also against those decks that go wide it'd be nice to have a judgment or, or two you know maybe even two just a card that levels up lux you know absolutely amazing with fiora great with like your radiant guardian type stuff you know you kind of have to build that way there's not much on there's really not much will of ionia around you know we saw basically none so honestly unyielding spirit should just probably be a one of in this kind of deck also unyielding spirit with lux is incredible also of course great with fiora um this should probably be a one of with how there's less will of ionia running around you know like probably instead of like maybe instead of back to backs you're playing like judgment on yielding spirit stuff like that um But yeah, so we're just kind of, kind of in between. Like the Blade Keeper is probably just below average. You know, it's just below average compared to like the other stuff. You know, you're, uh, and then yeah, uh, um, the the Mage Seeker Persuader was was difficult to turn on. There's only five cards in our entire deck that turn this thing on, and then it's just you know at that point then it's just the four three. Which this is a good card, but I think you have to be again more dedicated for it and be a more defensive kind of deck and there's probably just better options for us to do um with that all right but good good learning good learning um but yeah i th think that uh could could switch up this deck quite a bit all right those y'all watching on youtube hope you still enjoyed the video hope you learned stuff that's that's what it's all about it's all about learning getting better um and things like that but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I will see you for the next video.